MS Westphalia presents. The new Polaris shockwave unit is a highly efficient, mobile and versatile extracorporeal shockwave litter tripter for the angiological workstation. Its small, compact design has no mechanical connection to the imaging system or the table, so it can easily be stored away after the treatment is completed. The Polaris supervision enables you to visualize the therapeutic volume. Link that with a state-of-the-art touchscreen and you have an intuitive operation of all the important functions and are able to watch the process of the operation in real time. You may choose between X-ray or ultrasound as an imaging system to accurately locate the ineradicable urethral calculi. As a patient is being treated, energy levels can be changed between 16 and 26 kV. Trigger modes between 0.5 and 2 Hz are easily set. ECG-based triggering of the shock waves is also possible. The great maneuverability of our shock wave source, C-arm and ultrasound transducer allows you to find the exact location of the renal stones with the help of our newly developed GPS. You will receive outstanding clinical results because of the large therapeutic volume of Polaris and the ease of locating the renal stones. Our innovative supervision shows the therapeutic volume on the imported medical image depending upon the applied energy level from 16 to 26 kV. The penetration depth and the selected display definition of minus 6 dB or 17 MPa. The ball joint type movement of the shockwave source allows simple accurate positioning of the therapeutic volume onto the renal stone. Because of the newly developed supervision and its flexibility, Polaris is not only a shockwave source to complement the angiological workstation, but also achieves disintegration results like the Siemens HM3. The reason for that is the implementation of the wide focus, which is perfectly demonstrated on a modal stone. The arriving shockwave runs three times faster through the stone and is reflected at the back side. The reflected wave and waves along the side surfaces of the stone interfere and produce pressure and shear forces which disintegrate the stone. This effect is especially seen by a wide focus. We would like to demonstrate a typical process of positioning and treatment by the use of X-ray imaging and Polaris. First, the C-arm and the shockwave source are aligned to each other at a 90 degree angle. Then an X-ray is taken by AP projection. By positioning the shockwave source directly at the visible stone or by moving the table laterally or lengthwise, the focal volume is aimed onto the stone. The stone is now located inside the focal volume on the AP plane. The third dimension is calculated by CC projection. By positioning the shockwave source directly at the visible stone or by moving the table vertically, the focal volume is place onto the stone. The stone is now located inside the focal volume on the CC plane. To verify that the stone is located in the best possible focal volume, another AP projection is taken. Now by simply touching the image of the stone on the monitor screen, the penetration depth can be determined. The location of the stone has now been completed and the treatment can be started. The new Polaris by MS Westphalia, a highly efficient, mobile and versatile extracorporeal shockwave litter tripter for the angiological workstation.